this next video is going to look at the functionality available in Vault Collaboration. Vault Collaboration has two main functions that users are going to see. The first of which is the replication between multiple sites where the server is going to broadcast a Vault database and file store from one location to as many subscribers as necessary. That's not really anything we can see at the client side where we're at right now, so there's no reason for me to, to demonstrate that. However, uh, the other side of the Vault collaboration suite that I would like to show you is the Vault web client. The Vault web client is important in the fact that with Vault workgroup, collaboration, and professional, the client side has a network seat. So you technically have to purchase a seat for as many users as you want to grant access to the vault. However, if there are certain users that their main function is to view, search, and print from the vault, all they need to do is access the vault through a vault web client, which will then save you from have to, having to purchase a seat of the full-fledged client for that user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my my web browser which I'm using Google Chrome for. I've already gone to a website that is basically the name of the server that is hosting the site, Autodesk DM for data, Autodesk Data Management, web client, and then a login site. The criteria that we see here are the exact same criteria that we see when we're logging into the Vault client or through into the add-in through Inventor or AutoCAD. So I'm going to use the same credentials that I've used already, and I'll say log in. By default, this is going to be set up for an, on the internal network, but it can be set up to broadcast outside the organization. So the information that we see here is going to be pretty much the same as what we saw in the vault client earlier, it's just the format is slightly different. Over on the left hand side I still see some navigation folders. I do have an up and a top button. If I go to designs, that's the designs folder that we found in our navigation bar. There's our AOTC designs folder, there's our clamp folder, and there's all the files. And You can see that from the previous example, we have them in a release state and also revision B. If I click on any given file, it'll take me to a screen where I can get some good information about the category, the name of the file, the revision, uh, and so on. I have my Uses tab, just like we did over in the Vault client. I have a History tab that shows me the history of this file. I have a Where Used function will show me that that is used on the drawing and I have an attachments tab which would show me if there was any files uh, that were not direct file references that were attached to this. If I go back to the general tab and I click on this clamp.iam it will give me a downloadable that I can open and view the file from. Typically it's going to be in, I in IDW I'm sorry, a DWF. If that's not the case, then uh, it will give me a, a file that I have the ability to view. I also have the ability of doing the searching like normal. If I type in a the word grip, it will do a search on that. And again, this is the same as the multi-property search that we saw in Vault Client in the upper right-hand corner. I can also do an advanced search just like we can from the binocular or the find icon in Vault Client where I can select a property. Maybe I'll search for something with uh, that's made of a certain material. Conditions contains steel. Add that criteria, search, and there's the searches. So this will give me the ability to view, search, and print just like I would if I was in the actual vault, but I'm doing it from a vault client or a vault web client, doing it remotely 
uh, through that application.